For nearly four years, the city of Boise has been encouraging everyone to recycle everything they can. Cities asked residents to put some of the plastics, which usually wouldn't be able to be processed, into a regular cycling center, into a bright orange bag. You probably have had some of those. Those bags being shipped to Utah, and they were supposed to be turned into diesel fuel. That didn't go so well. In 2019, those bags were still being sent to Salt Lake City, but this time they were being used to fuel for a, as fuel for a concrete manufacturer. Now a California company is hoping to change that and make the laborious work of separating all the plastics finally worth it. So what do they want to do with all your hard to recycle recyclables? Well, it could be coming to a park near you soon. Here's Katya Stepovic. About 20% of Boise residents dedicate time to separate out difficult to recycle plastics into these orange bags that then go to Western Recycling in Boise. But then what? Certain things have questions like what happens to the energy bags. Bill Cohen is a resident of Boise who's been skeptical about the final destination of these orange bags. Is it just to make people feel good? It's a valid question. The energy bag program started back in 2018 in response to China's green sword policy in which they stopped taking a lot of the country's recyclable materials. Now the city of Boise sends all of the orange bags about 350 miles southeast to a place called Renewlogy in Salt Lake City. Instead of coal, the facility uses the orange bags and mixes with cement as an energy source. That process does have an environmental impact one that doesn't sit well with Bill. This is the fact that we're transporting some of this energy bag waste to Salt Lake. Right. Does it, it just intuitively doesn't make any sense. Uh, if you think about the, uh, you know, I think, I think I read 30 tons of this gets transported. Which is why he took a stroll today to Manitou Park. Well, I came to this park uh, explicitly to see um, what happens to my energy bags. So I wanted to come and see the bench itself to see if there's a better use. This bench is about halfway done by a company that the city has partnered with called Bifusion for a pilot program. Inside each block is all the contents from your orange bags. To try to find a, a, a technology that's really truly recycling um, and that's always our goal. People get to, to look at that block and say, wow, like that could be the material from my orange bag that I put in there, right? 30 tons of plastic waste is collected each month throughout the Treasure Valley. And Peter McCullough with the City of Boise Public Works says the energy bag program follows the EPA waste hierarchy. Right now, they would like to move up on that chart to recycling. And this new method would do just that. So that's only steam and compression. We don't sort, we don't clean. We literally just take the plastic waste, throw it in the machine, make a block and stick it in a wall. Heidi Kujawa, CEO of Bifusion in Los Angeles, says this bench only scratches the surface of possibilities to come. But we really view ourselves as a waste infrastructure company that enables us to really keep up with the infrastructure demands of the city. And that includes anything from parks and recs, which is an example with the bench, to Department of Transportation and other major uh, supporting services for community. The orange bags are being sent to Los Angeles during the pilot program and during the zero emission process, Kujawa says these blocks can create perimeter walls, privacy fencing, sound walls, bus stations, dumpster enclosures, storage facilities and residential projects to name a few. While the community grows, the pilot program comes at a time when some say it's needed most. All of our waste in the Treasure Valley, whether it's from Boise or, or Garden City or Eagle, it all is going to the same landfills. Um, and, you know, in Ada County, we have one landfill. Um, it's, it's not going to last forever. There's, there's varying estimates on how many years it has left. But, you know, we're looking somewhere in the range of 60 to 75 years left, um, perhaps, perhaps even less. If the pilot program is successful and piques interest from local architects and developers, Bifusion hopes to bring their block making machine to Boise. And as for Bill... This makes sense from a, an energy and from an environmental standpoint, and this seems to fit the bill. He's pretty pleased with where his waste ended up. Well, I'd like to see this in a couple weeks when it is completely finished, and hopefully something like this will catch on in different municipalities around the country. 
Hopefully we'll just have to wait and see, right? While I'm sitting on the bench, obviously right now, it is pretty comfortable. Take a look at it. You can obviously tell it's not fully completed. We've got some rubber plastic protection on the top. When it is completed in about early February, it's gonna double in size and it's actually going to create an L shape. But this bench alone, guys, has the potential to, to actually get rid of 1,000 pounds of waste in those landfills. So it, you can only imagine what this program really has the potential to do here and maybe in some other cities. Well, that's a good start. And as you mentioned the possibilities, Katya, what other projects might be in the works here in Idaho? Well, this pilot program is off to a great start. Obviously, it's still early in the process, but a lot of interest um, from architects and developers. And we're hearing that they're already in the works of building some new structures and benches. I can't tell you exactly where, but I'll give you a hint. Garden City may be seeing some of this coming up. All right, cool. If we like multicolored things, that looks pretty nice. All right, finally knowing what's going on with our orange bags, the plastics in our orange bags. Thank you, Katya.